I hate tying shoes. And so I decided to get some of these bungee laces. I was at the shoe store today because I got me a new pair of shoes here. I did a previous video on it. And uh, I asked the girl, look, I don't, I really don't like tying my shoes. I said, do you have any kind of slip-ons uh, type of, uh, of tennis shoe type of thing? She said, no, but we have these, these bungee lace things. Uh, people have been using them and they, they seem to be working well. So I decided to pick some up. They were super cheap. So if you guys want to check them out, I'll link them up down in the description below. But today I wanted to show you guys how uh, these bungee laces, how you lace them into your shoe and how they work. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have. And I use because I'm too lazy to tie my shoes. <laughs> so if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So I already did it in one shoe right here. I got one bungee lace thing going on right here. And so I figured that I would take the time to make this video to show you guys how to do it on this shoe here. So let me go ahead and just tilt the camera down so you guys can see the shoe there. There we go. And so what I first the first trick that I have for you is to uh, grab your phone. Say, Lane, what are you doing? Talking about getting your phone? You don't need your phone for anything. Yeah, what I want you to do is take a picture of your shoelaces, how they were already wrapped in through the things, and also just kind of look at your shoes and notice how they're laced uh, throughout there. But this gives you a guide to go by because you want your bungee cord to do the same thing there. So uh, I did that. I have an idea. I noticed that it's over the top here, and then it goes under, under, over, and they cross. Uh, and that's, I was just going to stay with that style. I know that there's many different ways that you can... Uh, that you can lace shoes, but I just, I'm sticking with the one. I want to show you guys how I tie my shoes real quick too. Most people don't know how to tie their own, sh or how to do this way. And this is just a fast way that I learned to tie shoes. Did y'all see that? I don't do any of that around the rope, around the tree, you know, coming through the loop and all that mess. It's this crazy way. Y'all can pause the video and or, uh, put it in slow-mo to rewatch it. But I make like a Z and then I cross and pull. <laughs> Super easy. Figured I'd show you guys that if y'all are interested. Even though you have bungee laces, you might need to tie a fast bow with some other shoes or use it for a present, something like that. Make a bow on a present. Little, uh, little trick. Show your kids that. And my kids are like, how did you do that, Dad? I want to learn how to do that. And so I try to teach them. And it's a little more, um, you have to know exactly what to grab and how to do it to be able to get it correctly. But um, once they got it, they were like, oh, this is so cool. <laughs> All right, so we got our shoelaces out here. And one thing, another thing that I want to mention in these shoes in particular, you may want to look at your uh, your eyelets here. These are kind of uh, oblong and flat because that's the type of shoelace this is. But these bungee cords are usually a lot more rounded. So you want to make sure that your shoelace, your bungee lace, can fit into the shoe hole here. Uh, mine just made it as I was getting it in. I have to press a little harder to make sure it gets in. So I'm pull this one through. And I'm going to kind of measure them out because I want it to be about halfway. Um, you know, you want, you want to match both ways. You want them to, to have the same amount of room on either side. So uh, leave a little bit of space for the crossover top here. And once, of course, you get the, the shoelace in too, you can have a better idea. See, I did this one wrong. That's supposed to go on the top. Pull that out. Made a mistake. I want to put it in through this way because that's how I originally had it in the picture. All right, so now you can take your laces, pull them out, and you can see that this is not quite uh, the length that we want to have more on this side because this is too long. So I'm just going to simply pull this. You may have to pull the top here to get a little bit out since this is this bungee material. It's not as slick as a regular shoelace. That's good. I can, I can live with that right there. And plus, as we kind of move the strings through here, it'll get flexed and whatnot a little bit more. So uh, now I was talking about earlier under over is how this one was done and how my picture was done. So I go under and you can, you can lace your shoes however you want. Uh, you just need a lace um, to whatever's most comfortable for you. Cause I know some people, some ways that they lace uh, aren't comfortable for them, but again, under and then uh, over and then under. Again, just like that. And then I'm going to show you guys at the end of the video, there's a little clasp right here that goes on. Uh, so stick around to the end. Let me get this thing done so I can show you guys how to put that thing on if you don't know how to do that. Because um, 
it, does, it took me a second just to make sure that I was doing it right. <laughs> and then there's also, if you notice, I took the strings and I, I tied a knot. And actually, I need y'all's help with that. Uh, whenever we get to it, I want to talk to you guys about um, that aspect, the, the knot aspect of it. Now, on these shoes, they have two eyelets on the bottom here. You can choose whether you want yours higher or lower. I have kind of fat ankles, so I am going to put it on the higher setting there. And then our bungee laces are in. They are fairly well um, even there. Maybe off by just a hair. Now you have your little doohickey that makes it to where you can tighten them and untighten them. What makes it great. So the way this works is you're going to squeeze. Focus. Focus. You're going, I'm looking at this upside down. <laughs> Flip. There we go. You're going to squeeze this as hard as you can because you need to get through, you need to get your laces through this hole and through this hole. When, and that one, whoa, that one comes whenever you squeeze it. So we're going to squeeze it all the way, hold the pressure on there. And you're going to put, put one through. You can't do two at a time, or I didn't have any luck doing two at a time, but I got one through right there, pull it through. And then I kind of moved it over to the side as best I could. And then I'm going to push this one up in here as well. <sighs> Come on. This is the part that was a little tricky, trickier than uh, the, the actual lacing part. So once you have that then there, uh, you can you want to put your shoe on so you can kind of get an idea of where you want this at. Uh, I don't have any socks on right now, so I'm just going to wait on that. But whenever it comes to the ending, uh, you don't want these just kind of you know flopping around. You don't want this thing to fall off. So tie a little knot using the two strings here so that everything holds nice and into place. Now, my thing, my question that I have for you guys though is where do you put this? <laughs> I, I don't know. I haven't like I haven't tried on the shoe yet to know exactly where this is going to be placed on my feet. But this is a lot of extra string kind of flopping around. So I was actually curious from you guys if y'all had any ideas on what to do with those extra strings. I was thinking maybe I could, since I did this over loop right here on the top, that I could just kind of tuck it in right here like that and then maybe do something like that i could even kind of twirl around here if i need i haven't quite figured that part out yet but uh that is how you install bungee laces <laughs> installation video uh that's how you install the bungee laces on one of these shoes right here if uh if you're looking to be a little lazy like i am and not have to tie shoes anymore although did you guys figure out how, how i did that tie shoe tying thing let me know down in the comments below do you do the traditional round the tree through the loop type of tie? Or do you do my crazy Z fast tie? I gotta know. I gotta know if y'all have even seen that fast tie before. Like I said, if you guys want to check out these, uh, it's I bungee laces. I'll link these up down in the description below. Y'all can go read other people's reviews about them. Don't have to take my word for them. Like I said, I'm one guy checking it out for the first time here. And, uh... I'm going to do a follow-up review to let you guys know what I think about this. Now, if you're looking for some great shoes because you have high arches, I just picked these up. I did a video about them because I talked about the insoles also that I got for these as well. I'm going to put that right there on the screen. You guys go click that video. I'll see you on that video. Thank you, dads, for watching. That thumbs up is always appreciated, and dad out.